As a Pokemon collector for many years myself, I've seen lots of changes happening in the market. And however, some of those changes sometimes look terrifying, it is something that you have to learn to live with as a collector. Today we see a lot of stress happening about the current state of the market. And obviously, things aren't going so well as a couple of years ago. Or are they? However, we can't argue about the fact that we're in some kind of a bear or buyer's market. But this does mean it's going bad with the hobby, even in the opposite. Not only me, but also several fellow collectors are nothing less than happy with the current state of the market. And the reason for that is quite simple, because you have opportunities basically everywhere you look. So what is the main problem of the Pokemon market in 2024? That's pretty simple. At first, a lot of people returned to the market at the peak during the COVID pandemic. At first, that caused a gigantic boom for the hobby, which could only help it going forward. But in fact, the exact opposite happened. When I watched one of the last videos from SM Pratt, he said something that I've remembered ever since, and that is that Pokemon has changed from being a collectible to a commodity. And obviously, the name of my channel is The Collecting Investor, but that doesn't mean that I'm in this hobby just to make money. The way how I look at it is pretty simple. Try to make some money now and then with the sole purpose of expanding my own collection. Basically, all the money I make with Pokemon investing and reselling goes straight back into the hobby. So I like to look at myself as a collector first and as an investor second. And this is exactly what's different with so many other people nowadays in this hobby. They are doing the exact opposite. They have totally no feeling with the hobby, have no nostalgia for Pokemon, and are just in this hobby with the sole purpose of making money. Of course, there is nothing wrong with that. It's my opinion that everyone has to do what they like, but most of the time, it's exactly those people that are making this community toxic, and that is something that I do have a problem with. It's in the best interest of every collector, investor, and Pokemon enthusiast that we keep this hobby healthy and fun. But at the least, when we want future generations to keep on enjoying this beautiful hobby in the exact same way as we have been doing over the last couple of years, and are still doing today. That brings us to a very important question. Is the Pokemon market now in 2024 in trouble or not? It's obvious that things have changed in the last couple of years. After the big boom from the COVID pandemic, we've seen a decent overall decline in the market, but that's not something that should be a big surprise. When such a big boom happens, it's nothing less than impossible for a market not to correct itself. And yet, that's exactly what so many people expected. For every seasoned collector out there, the only thing that the market, as we're in today, does is creating opportunities. Have you bought a lot of cards and sealed items during the big peak of the pandemic? Then yes, chances are that the value of your investments or collectibles have dropped significantly. Did you buy some of the items and cards just before the boom or in the months and years after it? Then chances are that your collection hasn't seen a very big decline after all. Always remember that the moment that you buy parts or items is just as, if not even more important than the moment that you sell them. The big problem I'm having with articles and videos stating that the market is in trouble is that they only look at the current state that the market is in. For the Pokemon market, what we see today is nothing new. And then most reactions state, but yeah, as well, but it's all different now because the print runs were never as big as they are today. And that's true. But there were also never more collectors, investors, speculators, enthusiasts in this hobby as we have today. Just take a quick look at websites as Core Market, TCG Player, and eBay, and see how many items and cards are still sold on a daily basis. And for sure also, not every Pokemon collectible has gone down in value, even in the opposite. Just have a quick look at the recent price increase that Team and Booster Box made. And who dares to say that other boxers just as Cosmic Eclipse and Evolving Skies are not going to follow the exact same path. And what is a box of Cosmic Eclipse going for these days? Somewhere between 800 to 1000 euros or dollars. And an Evolving Skies booster box somewhere between 4 to 500 euros or dollars. Still pretty high above the original MSR piece. And still those boxes change owners frequently. Just have a look at recent sales on eBay. Now, if something seasoned collectors and myself are utilizing the current state of the market to expand and optimize their collection. Even I got myself over the last couple of months buying a lot more items than I probably bought over the last couple of years. And that's just because of how insanely cheap some very beautiful cards have became. My recent pickups were a PSA 10 Galarian Gallery Leafeon and Glaceon for only 60 euros each. I mean, 60 euros for some of the most beautiful cards from one of the best sets produced over the last couple of years. And however, these cards, of course, aren't very rare. I think the art is absolutely stunning, and I can totally see the value of these cards increase over the next couple of years. 
So what is the real truth about the current state of the Pokemon market? Are we in a bear market or are we not? And if you take a look at the way how most prices evolved, then, well, we have to conclude that, yes, we are in some kind of a bear or buyer's market. If you look at the amount of interest there is in this hobby, then, no, we are not. It's not because the hobby isn't creating a lot of fuss at a certain moment that it is in trouble. Also, of course, there are the new TCGs that all want to have also a piece of the pie, just as One Piece and Disney are coming. I know a lot of collectors now that split the funds that they have between multiple TCGs, and to be honest, the exact same also goes for me in some way, because also I try to collect every booster box gift set and throw box from each and every Disney Larkana set. And yes, that sometimes also means that I have to make some choices. Now, if those TCGs will survive is a question nobody is able to answer. The recent Medals of Events made it clear that a trading card game can just vanish overnight. However, of course, I don't see that happen immediately with a very big branch just as Pokemon and Magic. I also don't see it happen, at least not in the short term, for Lorcana and One Piece. But the fact someone is showing interest in Lorcana or One Piece or other collectibles out there doesn't have to mean Pokemon is dead and buried. During the hype of the market, everyone was complaining that there was no supply and everything was so expensive everywhere. Today we see the exact opposite. Leaving some exceptions behind, every set has more than enough supply available and it has been a very long time since prices has been so affordable for everyone that wants to collect. So my advice is, let us just enjoy the current state of the market and utilize it to expand our collections. If you are buying the right cards and items now for your collection, then chances are very high that we will also benefit from that in the future. But eventually, we all want our collection to at least maintain its value and, if possible, also gain a bit. So, if the moment comes that we want to sell it and never say never, we are still able to get a decent return on the money that we've spent. And let's face it, my friends, the market that we are having today offers a lot more opportunities than the market did a couple of years ago. Okay, my friends, this brought me to the very end of this video. Now, if you enjoyed it, then please consider giving it a like and subscribe to my channel for lots and lots of more Pokemon and collectibles related content. For now, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.